Hey everyone, so we're ready to start our next art project. Here we go. So I, so far I have everything, um, the words sketched out and I've sketched out a pillar of cloud and I've sketched out a pillar of fire. So I'm going to trace these so you can see how I drew that cloud. So here we go. I'm just going to, as you can see, it's really, I just did a spiral. This part's pretty easy. We have to get a little bit smaller as we get down to the bottom. There we go. So a little bit like that. So there's the full pillar of cloud. And then over on this side, this is how I just kind of did this crazy doodly thing that I wanted it to look like a pillar of fire. It just flames. So I started by just doing like these big wonky things like that. But then I just started connecting them as I went down. So that they just kind of fill the space and have these points. And this can be a free motion of your hand. It doesn't have to be perfect. It should just be a doodle. It's okay if you don't even look at the paper or look at your pen as you are doing it. So there we have our pillar of cloud and our pillar of fire on either side leading the Israelites. So this was a long verse. So I wrote it all the way down the middle. So it's kind of like they've got the Israelites going down the path right down the middle between where God is um on either side of them and leading them. I'm going to wait to go over that with the black and I think yeah, my black marker is dry. So let's add some watercolor. I'm going to come over here and grab my palette. And see, I have lots of brushes. So I think I'm going to grab like a nice little pointy thing. Put some water. So some of you have been talking about that your paper gets too wet. Um, that might mean that you're using, obviously, just a little too much water. You don't want to get your paper too, too wet over here. You want your brush to be nice and juicy, like I could almost have it drip off. But you don't need it to, once you get over here, go ahead and spread it out. And I'm just going to trace... Those lines that I made and I think I'm gonna color those in I don't know you're you're on my path with me this morning I have no real plan of how I am going to paint this God God is with us right now so I'll just keep filling that in if you do get too much water on your paper all you need to do is grab a Kleenex, paper towel, roll of toilet paper, whatever. Um, here, we'll actually, I've got my trusty little basket over here full of all sorts of those kinds of goodies. So I'm going to grab the roll of toilet paper and I'll just kind of show you what I do. Like I just tear off one hand in this, um, a little chunk of toilet paper like so, and then you can just dab right on the paper and pick up, it might pick up some of the paint, but that's okay. And then you can go back and add more paint in as necessary. See, like I've got a good little puddle there. That's okay too. Especially with watercolor, because then if I come 
back, I'm going to grab some purple. And where that's wet, see how that all kind of melt together and make cool new colors, which is always fun. And I love when God gets to help paint and make his own colors with us. The other thing I think I'm going to really like about this design is that we're going to have cool colors on the one side and hot colors on the other side. So you've got your blues, purples, we might even throw a little green in there because, you know, a good tornado always has some green in it. Mm, that was too much. If you get too much too, you can always pick up, there's no difference from picking up that paint right there and then moving it somewhere else then picking up the paint on your own palette and then moving it, right? So, this is tricky painting like this, guys. I don't know how to, good thing I've got a bunch of Christians giving me a lot of grace on this, right? You guys are awesome. All right. I said we should add some green, didn't I? So I think we're going to grab a nice bright green over here. We're just going to add a little bit. So there's our pillar of cloud. Awesome. Okay, so now I have to grab a different palette. See, this one has mostly blues and purples and greens. And then because I love paints, I have one that has all sorts of other colors on it. So now I'm going to get my nice red and just splash so I'm getting my brush a little wet, go to the red. And that's all I'm doing. Okay, let's add some orange to that. So we get a nice little puddle in there going. I think we need a little yellow, don't you? I think so. Kind of like we did with the green. I'm just going to come in on the edges. that there so there we that's how I got my pillar of fire going on one side and the cloud going on the other so you know what I think I want to do I think I'm gonna grab um, I'm gonna grab a nice flat brush something that looks a little bit like flatter like this flat along the top and it's flat all the way around. It's not pointed at all. And I'm going to paint some brown. The Israelites right now in the desert make me think of brown. The sand, the rocks, the mountains, you know. So, and I'm just going to keep this simple because I really want more of the focus to be on those pillars. So I'm just going to do stripes, I think. And that'll kind of make like bars that connect 
the two pillars also. But because there's so much, oops, sorry, there's so much interest going on with those two pillars, I don't want to do it just flat, one flat color in the middle either, because that could get kind of, well, that would be a little boring. That'd throw off the balance of the artwork, so we don't want to do that. There we go. So we've got some stripes. Maybe, hmm, should we add a little green to that? I think it needs a little green. We'll come back over to that other green we used before. And I think, yeah, I like that. I kind of like the green. It's connecting over to this side. Oh, see, I told you. I had no real plan when we started painting what colors this is going to turn out. This is all God. So, and I'm going to use the yellow to connect on this side. Over to that green. Ooh. Ah, nice. That does a good job of connecting everything but giving it... There's still like that pillar of the Israelites in the center. And there we go. So now my next step will be to add all of the black um, outlining to my words. Um, and then because I always do it in pencil first, like especially this one, it was so many lettering. I needed to decide like which ones were going to be bigger, which ones were going to be smaller. Um, and to fit everything into that space, it took me a little bit to figure out just where is everything going to go. So um, I had to do a fair amount of erasing. Uh, so now that I've got it all laid out, I've got the pa paint on top of it. Now I will go back over it and add that black. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.